Hey makers, here's part two of building the standard frame. For this step, we are going to attach the motors. Now you're gonna need the hardware bags and some brackets that are included with your M2 kit, as well as two 10 foot two by fours and some parts from the first step. Now the first thing we're gonna do is measure the actual length of our 10 foot two by fours. They're not ever gonna be exactly 10 feet. The exact measurement is always, usually anyway, a little bit longer. So we're gonna measure that distance, divide it in half, and then mark that exact center on each board. This is so we can always line both these boards up with their center lines. Now, once we get these center lines on there, we're gonna turn them up on their two inch edges and we're gonna write top on each one so they can always be oriented in the correct way. And then we're gonna write top beam on one and bottom beam on the other. Now on our top beam, we wanna go ahead and extend that line up to the top because it's easier to measure from that center line if you use the speed square to kind of extend it to the top. And then we're gonna measure out five foot from center on each side. So we're gonna go five feet out on the right and then five feet out on the left. And then we're gonna mark that and draw another straight line with the speed square exactly five feet out on each end. On the inside of that straight line, we're gonna put our motor mounting brackets on each end, and we're gonna attach them with two diagonal screws on the top and then one in the front. And we wanna ensure that it's exactly on that five foot from center line and it's square and straight and flush with our beam. For this next step, we're gonna grab one of the XY motors, doesn't matter which one, and a motor screw and a motor washer. So put the washer around the screw and then put all four of those into our XY motor. And it doesn't matter which side the motors go on, you just wanna make sure that the cylindrical parts are going toward the center. The last thing that we're gonna do on this part is to attach our motor sprockets to our motor. So to do that, we're gonna put the set screw into the hole on each one of our sprockets, and then we're going to align the sprockets onto the motor shaft with the sprocket parts going toward the outside, and the set screw lined up with the flat part of the motor shaft. That's so it doesn't shift back and forth while the motor is turning. And then we're gonna tighten that using that three millimeter hex wrench. And once that's all nice and snug, we'll repeat it on the other side and our motors are attached.